Hi guys, I am very excited to start a new series on my YouTube channel that is related to Flutter. I know that many of you have requested me on social media uh, in in the comment section of the YouTube videos and also in different surveys that I I have done before. And many people were asking to start Flutter series, so here it is. uh in this video i am going to cover different things and i am going to tell you how this series is going to proceed further and which things i am going to cover so first of all what is flutter if you are listening for the first time the name of flutter then i will tell you that this is basically a cross platform framework by google which help us develop cross platform apps So, for example, if you want to develop a software for Windows, Android, iOS, and any website, now you will have to learn different things. So, for example, if you want to do Android, then you will have to learn Java first. Then you will have to learn Android SDK, Android Studio, blah blah blah, and other things. And if you want to learn iOS, then you will have to learn Swift first, then Xcode, and all those different things. and if you want to learn web development then you will have to learn html css bootstrap javascript and maybe other front end technologies and if you want to learn uh, develop uh, software for windows then you will have to learn c sharp maybe or maybe java can be used for uh, developing windows software but not in case of flutter flutter is something that you, that you can you know use to create the software for all these platform with just one code base you just have to write the code once and your system or your software will be deployed on these uh, uh cross platform these major platforms uh, automatically so one code base and you know you can rule them all uh, so there are different techniques and uh, you know there are some uh, limitations as well but uh, we are going to cover all of these and we are going to learn how flutter can help us develop quality software for cross platform technologies so this is the basic idea of flutter uh, so currently let me tell you um, uh, what is the state of you know cross platform compatibility uh, from flutter flutter is not that old but not that young as well so for example uh, it is almost i think 2 to 3 years that flutter is in the market and many people are developing different softwares uh, using flutter there are many successful stories as well and there are you know upcoming stories as well that the apps that have that have been developed using flutter so first of all let me tell you the cross platform state so currently android and ios state is very stable so you can use flutter to develop android and ios apps with full confidence right now so because currently it is in a stable state secondly if we talk about the web support then right now that's that is under the uh, beta support uh, if you want to develop uh, websites using flutter then that is not i can say 100% possible but in uh different uh, different websites are right now available in the market that are fully developed with the flutter technology uh, but again right now the things are in beta if you talk about the desktop port for example windows mac os and linux then that port is in alpha right now so for example you can say that right now it is very uh, it is very early to say that um mac os windows and linux port are fully supported by flutter right now many uh, you know work is being done uh, and most importantly flutter is open source so people from you know other uh, places are contributing into it contributing to it and making it powerful day by day the cross platform compatibility also depends on the available packages or the plugins that are uh, open source available by different companies so i see that that is also lacking currently majorly all the plugins that are available in the market are you know compatible with the android and ios but not with other platforms so it also depends on the number of plugins that we have right now but anyway the support is great for android and ios at least and i have tried it for web as well 
uh, so uh, we can create fully responsive websites using flutter and it is very very powerful and and in the coming years it will be the most required you know skill in the freelancing marketplace and in the jobs market so that's why flutter is very important one of the most coolest thing about flutter is that for example if you want to develop a software for android and ios and web now you don't have to you know write code for three different platforms you can write the code once and deploy it to different platforms another cool thing about flutter is that we can you know provide similar interface on multiple platforms for example if we are developing an android app and if we want to develop it for ios as well our requirement will be to make a similar interface so that if a user is from android to ios for the same app then he must be able to understand all the functionalities easily he should be able to find all the features easily so with flutter what we can say is that if we develop the same kind of interface for android and ios then we don't have to worry about the users who switch from android to ios or from ios to android so i guess you got the idea and let's talk about the demand of flutter in freelance marketplaces now we will see how it is going through on upwork and secondly we will see how it is going through on fiverr and on in the third we are going to see how it is uh, you know trending in google trends so let's see okay right now i am on upwork and let's try to search out jobs related to uh, flutter and let's see how many jobs are there so once i searched it you can see there are more than 800 jobs right now that are related to uh, flutter and uh, previously i i tested it and previously i tried to search out previously i checked that there were only 300 to 400 jobs for flutter but right now this number has been increased uh, to more than 800 so that's amazing so it shows that there is huge demand for flutter on upper platform okay now let's see how many gigs are there uh, related to uh, flutter on fiverr so uh, i will search uh, flutter on fiverr and you can see that there are more than uh 2800 gigs on fiverr that are available and that are selling right now so you can see 37 orders 56 orders 68 28 22 and so on so if you sort it out with respect to best selling then you will be able to see uh you know more results so anyway uh these two platforms are showing that there is huge demand for flutter right now on uh, on fiverr and upwork so this is the report that is google trend showing us uh for the keyword flutter over time so you can see that it is uh increasing day by day but it is it is it was going down for a few time but now again it is you know increasing so it is a, a proof that flutter is trending in many ways all around the world on the internet and this is the most important skill that people should learn in order to become a successful you know mobile apps developer or software developer so this is the uh, interest by region you can see that mostly it is being searched in china and india maybe usa and uh, countries like this so uh, related topics are firebase uh, react native android studio application programming interface flutter list view and so on and so on think of flutter for a second from client point of view so for example if you are a client or investor and if you want to create a software for android ios and web then you will have to hire android ios and web developers separately now with flutter you can hire one flutter developer and he can you know develop android apps ios app and web apps at the same time because flutter is cross platform this, so this is the biggest advantage that investors or the entrepreneurs or the companies are seeing in this uh, you know, framework that if you code once you don't need to hire multiple developers for this simple you know purpose so this is why uh, many clients are now preferring flutter these days now let's talk about what we will cover in this course so i will just give you an idea of the you know whole series but uh, 
this is not final i will you know adjust the series as i am making the videos as needed based on your feedback so let first of all each and everything related to ui interfaces i will go through and explain to you uh, how to create amazing interfaces using flutter there will be many examples that i will be covering i i will you know pick up some designs and i will convert them to flutter uh, and secondly uh, i will be covering different widgets and thirdly i will be you know uh, doing integration with apis third party apis generating builds and maybe firebase integration maybe aws integration etc so each and everything that is demanding in the marketplace so that you guys can succeed and you know become a successful uh, flutter developer so you guys might be thinking that what you should know before starting with flutter and how much experience is required so let me tell you step by step what is required so first of all you must be very passionate and uh, very curious to learn new things especially the mobile apps development and the software development if you are like if you want to make a career in this field then definitely this series is for you if you don't want to you know become a successful mobile apps developer then this series might not help you secondly uh, you must be good at programming i can say so i will be using dart programming language for this purpose so flutter uses dart and uh, uh, your objects oriented programming skills will be very beneficial in this course because we will be using those skills uh, by default the framework is developed in such way that we need to uh, use the oop concepts so but you don't have to worry about this if you don't have any experience then you can follow along and i will try to cover all, uh, each and everything that you know that is possible or if you can write in the comment section that these are the things that uh, we would like to know in further details and i can create dedicated uh, tutorials for you guys if we talk about the dart programming language then this is very similar to uh, javascript or uh, java even if you are come from the c++ background then this programming language will be very easy for you because it is very easy but you don't have to worry about this and i will i will try to cover each and everything in this series and it definitely depends on the type of response that i get from you guys because your response matters a lot if you you know guys support me if you would like these videos if you comment on these if you participate if i get if i am start I, if i start getting enough views from uh, these videos definitely i will you know try to push myself to create more and more videos uh, day by day so let's talk about the system requirements so if we talk about the system requirements then i recommend that you must use at least 8 gb of ram because this thing uh, requires some ram stuff and on my system i will be using at least 32 gb ram and on my macbook pro i have only 16 gb of ram uh, it works fine but again more ram you have more you know smoother it will it will be and secondly uh, you can use any operating system maybe uh, windows mac os or linux but uh, i'll be using both mac and windows for this pur purpose and i will be recording majority of the videos on uh, mac os or the windows but let's see and by the way uh, one more thing i would like to tell you that if you want to uh, test the ios apps then uh, you must have mac os installed on your virtual machine if you are using pc or you must have a macbook pro uh, or at least macbook maybe air so because it requires xcode uh, running and for ios testing you must have the mac os but don't worry if you have a pc then you can simply install the mac os on in the virtual machine as well maybe i can create a tutorial for you in the future if you you know if you guys insist me okay so let's see what is next so how we are going to follow along this course and how soon the videos are coming so you might be thinking let me tell you so first of all if you are not subscribed to the this channel then make sure to subscribe it and also make sure that you hit the bell icon because that way you will be getting notification about all the uh, new videos that i will be publishing on this channel related to flutter 
and uh, many other videos i usually post stuff related to upwork fiverr and freelancing and if you have any questions like if you are following along in a video and you have any questions then don't hesitate to post your comment in the comment section because i check each and every comment and i try to reply uh, them because uh, i i take it important and if if something is important then i definitely uh, go ahead and uh, reply it immediately other than that you you must uh, follow all the videos you you at least try to do these things on your computer and i will sh be sharing all the source code on the github uh, profile and the repository will be public definitely and i will be add i will add the link of the github profile in, in the comment section of each video you can go ahead and download the sample code and if you want to you know try on your computer or i will recommend that you uh, code all and everything on your computer using your own hands by the way because uh, programming is all about practice if you do not practice uh, enough if you do not do all the things uh, with your hands practically then definitely this is not going to make any sense because um, it's all about practice and practice makes man perfect but it is you know more implemented in the programming world or in the uh, software development world and secondly you must download the mobile app that i have published on google play i will soon release the ios version as well but in that app i will be uh, posting the assessment assessments related material to flutter so for example if you want to take a quiz uh, about a video or about the whole course then uh, there will be very soon a feature available in the app by which you will be able to assess yourself or judge your skills maybe you can you will be able to participate in the contest as well quiz contest and challenge other friends so a lot of things are going behind the scene for that app as well but i recommend that you download it if you have an android phone and uh, i have another group as well that is on facebook so i will add the link of uh, link of the group in the description as well so you must join that group in order to you know uh discuss the things with your friends and lastly i will you know posting the videos based on your response so if if i am getting enough likes if enough comments enough appreciations from you guys in the comments then definitely i will be posting videos uh you know very soon but if i do not I, if i do not get any response in terms of views in terms of likes in um, uh, you know then you know i will be slow and i will be letting i will be publishing videos lately so i request you to please like all the videos that will be uploaded related to uh, flutter maybe share them on facebook maybe share them on your you know, whatsapp maybe and also comment uh, on the videos that you are watching and do, you are you know uh, trying to do all the these things on your computer that's it from my side and I am very excited to start the Flutter series with you guys and I think it will be an amazing uh, journey uh, together in which we will be learning Flutter. We will be mastering it and we will be developing many sample products along the way. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and also make sure to share this video with your friends. And in the next video, I will be uh, coming up with the how to install Flutter on Windows operating system. Make sure to install uh, it and if you have any questions then definitely discuss it with me on in the comment section below see you take care allah hafiz